Okay, this is what happened to me today. <clears throat> I have this uh, error, and uh, this is what happened. So I just want to document this. Bean, here we go. Okay, we had uh, three errors right here. Compiler error 246, another 246, and 103. So this one was consistent with uh, with a namespace. So basically, <clears throat> I had a namespace which was different from this form here. It, these were lowercase and I had to like right click, rename, and then hit apply. <clears throat> That's what I did. Then I went to the solution employ, uh, solution explorer I found this employee, but prior to that, I copied and pasted the text uh, file with the code, which is right here. And uh, save that. Then I went here and I deleted this thing I deleted this thing then I went here again to the project right here I clicked on this then I went to add new item and then I added a class and I click add and then right here when it was class name class I clicked and I renamed this Okay, then, then I pasted the code from here. See right here, it says public class employee. It used to be like this, class employee, which is, I think it's okay because it doesn't matter because it's outside the, we can do the public class or we can uh, do anything other than that. And we enter the social, higher date, 02, 23, 1995. And we can click submit and here it is so we can add another one and here's the higher date and this is a good indication of that we did the error handling that it shows Microsoft 1101. That means this higher date that I placed like 1885 does not exist. I, I made a mistake on purpose. So it works right now. So basically to get rid of the 101 error, I had to go to this. Here's what the, was the problem on this form right here. When I was adding this button, I clicked copy and then in this form here to have the image of this file, I clicked the paste and what happened in here, submit button, um, it had, instead of submit button, it had a different name also. And uh, it was copy and paste error. 
So I want to also, what else did I do? Basically, I just rebuilt, I renamed the namespace and I rebuilt the employee employee uh, object here and uh, this is the code and that's it thanks